Uh, what is that? What is the charge? Eating a meal? Two almost robotically identical crashes are under investigation because artificial intelligence is the suspected link. Huh? Oh, that's dog shit. Like, it's not... Can you spot a fatal flaw in Tesla's dude, autopilot? Dude, dude, you, you, you know what's cringe? You know what's cringe? I generally think that autopilot is right now is, it genuinely sucks. It's just bad, right? Because I've seen it, I've been in it, you know, we've used it in the car, okay? It's dog shit, but still is better than, than most, the vast majority of humans driving. Island. So I don't know how I feel about it. You know, it's trash. It's a weapon in the average driver. Eight cameras enable this car to see. Both crashes occurred on straight highway, so we'll consider the narrow forward-facing camera. Because people would rather have 100 human-caused accidents than five robotic-caused accidents. That's just how it is. I don't know what it is, but uh, I guess we're just brain dead, I guess. Range. If the bike was going 65 and the Tesla 80, that equates to 37 seconds of reaction time. Maybe our closing speed was faster, but regardless, the computer had enough processing time by an order of magnitude. Meaning autopilot decided this is not a problem, this is not a problem, this is not a problem, this is not a problem until... See, our brains can tell a motorcycle from a car, from a stop sign. These human farmed data sets are fed to computer vision programs until they too learn to label videos. And Tesla vision is nothing more than more. Tesla has kind of interesting. I like dash cam that. minutes. They sample millions of sketchy moments, which humans label and teach to AI. And that runs in shadow mode on your next drive, making a few more questionable decisions, which are corrected and relearned again and again through seven modes of refinement. But it's still just labeling. This is a motorcycle up close. This is a car far away. This is a problem. This is not. Now remember, our crashes happened at night, so AI can't see Chat. his body. Chat. And they were on empty highways, so we have few linear perspective cues. And both motorcycles were cruisers yeah, yeah, yeah. with I have a question. I'm gonna, this might sound really dumb, but maybe it's not that dumb. What, what if people decided that they could, they could either buy something that's very cheap, like, like 10 bucks, they put in their, on their car or on their motorcycle, right? So that it's just like a backup thing that everything around them knows that it's, it, it's, a, it's a vehicle entity on the road, right? So even if it all fails, it knows that there's a vehicle there because it has like a, like a, like a chip somewhere. Ill lights. My theory is that all the computer saw was two glaring orbs close together decent, no? and close I'd, to I'd the buy horizon. That. Five bucks, ten bucks, it labeled it. this a distant car so it hit our imminent motorcycle. Of course, a good human idea. might make the same mistake, and statistically, AI is still said to be safer. But that is a dangerous misrepresentation. Elon's referring to autopilot crashes per million miles driven, but think about it. An autopilot is massively biased to highway use, and on highways, cars usually travel a long distance before smacking into things. Formulas exist for adjusting the highway advantage, and when you interpret the data KX responsibly, autopilot is sometimes more dangerous than driving without. A catastrophic distinction for a feature that is only meant to augment driver safety. But it's all the same in a sales spreadsheet. Never mind the salvation of mankind, maybe the world's richest car company is out to make money? Oh, I, I like money. Wait, or use autopilot on the highway, and whenever you're on the highway, you drive your car? Case in point, Tesla recently removed the radar that lived in here. Months so its computer can I guess at distances well based on parallax and what it thinks an object is, but the chilling truth is that your Tesla no longer Whoa. knows the distance to anything. Not without radar, sending radio waves there and back again. 
It's a cost-saving deletion, both in parts and reputation. See, radar is all distant. See, to... my idea of chip here would instantly trump that, wouldn't it? It's a cost-saving deletion, both in parts and reputation. See, radar is all distance and no substance. It knows how far that mass is, but can't tell whether it's an overpass sure. or an overturned Let us truck. Know how easy so the AI either has to ignore radar input that lets a computer track them easier or trust car. radar Close. only to occasionally panic break for no reason. It's an embarrassing problem. And when we understand autopilot as a profit proposition, we can understand why Tesla buried that problem in the cheapest way possible. So actually three weeks ago, we started to ship cars that have no radar at all. So we've deleted the radar and we are driving on vision alone in these cars. And the reason we are doing this, I think is well expressed by Elon in this tweet. He's saying, uh, when radar and vision disagree, which one do you believe? Uh, vision has much more precision, so better to double down on vision than do sensor fusion. That is a reckless idea. Well, what about this Imagine visual clutter? I and... two artists to paint a picture of the road ahead and, uh-oh, and they're different. And I guess I better throw one away so there's nothing left to contradict the other and that means I can drive assuming it's correct. Hmm. And the only place that logic makes sense is in a profit loss call. If Tesla really cared to solve ah. the discrepancies between radar and vision, I expect they'd check with LiDAR. It's yes. like a million Force tiny radars dotting a, a pointless map of accurate distances Tesla with people. definition. Genius. Such is the reason every autonomous giant fail-safes with LiDAR, except Tesla. LiDAR is, is a fool's errand. And, any, and anyone li relying dude, on LiDAR... Dude, 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 listen, listen. I'm trying to find goal, I'm trying to find solutions and shit like that to remove human er error. Human should always strive to remove human error. Always. I don't know why you're getting mad at me. And any, it's like anyone anti Tesla Andy, is like doomed. balding Andy. <laughs> doomed. Humans are that fucking dumb fucks. Only makes sense when I translate into dollars. LiDAR is expensive, it's ugly, it requires pre made maps that are unscalable to market. Of course, money is not the party line. And Tesla would say that we drive with two eyes and our intelligence. So eight cameras and an artificial intelligence is all you need for autonomous driving. In theory, in the future, I agree. But Tesla is making billions selling future features to consumers today. And today, two motorcyclists bro, are- Bro, I would take a guy like me who doesn't drive a million times more often than a fucking drunk driver and an impaired driver that kill people on the road, man. What is on that? Nobody wants to see a third. And Tesla least of all. So let's suggest three fixes to our three parties, starting with Tesla. Don't call it autopilot. Germany has banned the term as false advertising. California is trying to oust it as dangerously misleading. We all know selling an autopilot that requires drivers to be constantly piloting it is like selling a flamethrower that is not a flamethrower. It's willfully incendiary. Now to Tesla consumers, be skeptical. Any influencer can recognize that Elon Musk is an influencer. His genius is in saying the most compelling things, not the most true. So before you trust his take on autonomy, just know that autopilot is programmed to shut down one second before impact. So who's the manslaughter charge gonna stick to? And finally, to motorcyclists. Yours is the deadly serious responsibility, but it's also the most vague. Maybe when headlights loom behind, weave side to side, and your lateral motion will be wider than a faraway car, it should help the AI to gauge your distance. It's you know, you know chat, guys, guys, I feel like we're about to I get wish I had more. Chat, chat, we're about to go full circle a third time, I feel like. I feel like it's about to go triple fold, where Everybody loves Elon, then loving Elon equals bad chest, then hating Elon is a new trend, but then people are overly hating for no reason, and then they become trend, and then now it becomes a meta, and then now it's the opposite, you know, hating, hate, it's like, dude, right, it's just, I think it's like metas, man. Holy Jesus, fuck, he's annoying. Delete him. Oh, question.
Mark again. All he's funny is just trying to remark on it, man. It's true, though, man. It's like the I love Elon NPC, and I feel like we're gonna go, we're gonna go towards the the I hate Elon NPC, and it's like it's like full circle, and it's gonna be just fucking recycling, man.